Hi everyone, it's Alejandra, and in this video, I'm gonna share with you how I'm organizing all of my tax documents. So, in my opinion, taxes are a big pain to do, and what's a bigger pain is when they're not organized, because then it just makes the whole tax process a lot more difficult than it should be. So, um, this is my tax box. This is where I have all of my tax returns and supporting documentation for every year that I file taxes. So, um, I used to have all of these returns inside of my filing cabinet and I just felt like after each year my filing cabinet was just like growing bigger and bigger and I didn't really want to expand or you know get a bigger filing cabinet so I felt like I needed to take the returns out and put them somewhere else so now they're inside this box so the only thing I keep inside of my filing cabinet are the tax documents that I'm going to save throughout the year and then give to my accountant at the beginning of the new year. So that might be your W-2, your 1099, personal property, like for your car, donations, interest paid, like mortgage, uh, stock, any loans you might have, or other deductions that you write off. Um, so I'll keep these documents inside my filing cabinet, organized by category, by these categories right here, and then when tax time comes, I'll just take all these folders, give them to my accountant, um, and then that's how I do my taxes. And then when I get the return back and all my supporting documentation back, I will come to this file box right here and I will file everything away according to what it is, if it's my personal taxes or it's my business taxes, and then what year it is. Now, I got this box last year and I was looking online, I got it from Office Max, and I was looking online to try and put a link below this video to show you guys where I got this awesome box because I love it. I love how you can sort everything, it has smaller boxes, and I couldn't find the box like anywhere on Amazon, Office Max, Office Depot, Staples, nowhere like had the box. So I called the company that makes them, Fellows, and they said that they discontinued the box. So unfortunately, you cannot buy this exact organizing product. However, there is a um, alternative, which I will put a link below that's has a very similar setup. So um, yeah, so let me show you what is inside. So right here in the first box, I have all of my personal taxes from the past six years. Now, since right now is 2013, I'm gonna start a brand new box because this is completely full. Um, but the first box here has personal taxes from 2006 through 2012, my business taxes from 2008 to 2012, and then my business receipts that go with these tax returns from 2008 to 2012. And these labels right here did not come with the box. These are um, removable labels that are made by Martha Stewart that you just stick on and that you can actually just peel them off and they come off really nicely. They don't, they're not gonna peel their cardboard off or anything. And then I took my label maker and I just put a label right here on top of the label to know exactly what was inside. Okay, so let's look at inside one of the boxes. So these are all my personal tax returns from the past six years. And everything inside of the box is categorized by year. So the first year, 2009 Alejandra. So this is my tax return and all my supporting documentation from 2009. So if I ever get it audited from 2009, I just come to this box find the year and everything is right here, nice and easy to find. And then you can kind of see that the next thing, they all go in order, 2010. So again, it's just very simple, it's very organized and it's easy to find. All right, so that is my personal taxes. Let me show you the business taxes. And actually these are the exact same thing. I have the blue, blue folders inside labeled by year and then by name. So I'm not gonna show you that. And then back here, I have my business receipts from 2008 through 2012. Inside here, I have all these poly envelopes where I have receipts. So color-coded 2011 receipts. So if I ever need to find a receipt from 2011, I just come here, open this, and I find exactly what I'm looking for. And then, on the outside of the box, I have a nice jumbo label that says 2006 through 2012. 
And if I was going to relabel this box, which I'm going to do for 2013 going forward, I would use a red label because I feel like the black just blends in too much. If you have a nice bright big red label, it's going to pop. And when this is in a closet on a shelf, you can immediately see the year and it's just going to make it faster and easier to find exactly what you're looking for. So, um, okay. And then where to keep this box? Like I said, this is staying inside my home office closet. What you want to do is keep it in a space that is, um, you're not accessing, of course, you're not accessing this like too frequently. So keep it somewhere where you know where it's at. It's not going to get damaged. Like if your basement is prone to flooding, you obviously don't want to put this on the basement floor because you don't want your documents to get wet if there is a flood. So just keep it out of the way where nothing is going to get damaged. And um, yeah, that's how I'm organizing all of my tax returns and tax documents throughout the year. Okay, and so the exact amount of time that you wanna keep your, your tax documents is up to you, it's up to your accountant. I'm not a certified accountant, I'm just a certified professional organizer, so I can't give you that answer. But um, for me, you can see how long I've kept my taxes. Um, yeah, that is everything that I want to share with you guys. I hope this video was helpful, and I hope if you use all the tips that I showed you, it, um, you'll feel more organized and more on top of um, filing your taxes on time. So I'll see you next time, bye.